God wants to be involved in every aspect of our lives. His door is always open, not just to Christians on Sunday mornings or on Shabbos for Jews. Worse, the two day per year attendees of both faiths miss the entire adventure. Christmas and Easter Christians cannot survive on spiritual feedings at Christmas and Easter any better than high holiday Jews. We need more than the high holidays and pageantry to embrace our faith. More important, we need our faith to embrace us. Faith cannot thrive if our experiences with God are limited to the few big days per year when our worship services are crowded with the spiritual amateurs. We must not allow ourselves to pretend we can cut God out of our schedules, our failures, our fears, our hopes, our adventures, our lives, or our death when that time comes. Ghosting God would be especially tragic if you believe in life after death, followed by a judgment at the throne if you've ignored God. Here's a question. Do Christians and Jews really believe similar things about the Messiah? And the answer is, duh, yes. Most readers understand that some of the core beliefs of Christianity include the idea that God will someday reward the saved and punish the rest. It's also believed that Jesus is the Messiah. He will return to earth and someday usher in a messianic age. The dead will rise from the grave just as he did. And you know what? These ideas should also sound very familiar to informed Jewish listeners. For those unfamiliar with Judaism's core beliefs, Maimonides is credited with spelling out the non-negotiables of Judaism. He was the great codifier of Torah law and Jewish philosophy, Rabbi Moshe ben Maimon, Maimonides, also known as the Rambam, compiled what he referred to as the 13 fundamental principles of the Jewish faith as derived from the Torah. Maimonides refers to these 13 principles as faith, as the fundamental truths of our religion and its very foundations. I will keep it simple and only list three of them. Number one, the belief in divine reward and retribution. Write it down. Number two, the belief in the arrival of the Messiah and the Messianic era. Write that down too. Number three, the belief in the resurrection of the dead. I hope you write that down as well. I trust you see the pattern. If these pillars of our religious beliefs sound familiar, it is with good reason. Jews and Christians are required to believe these same essentials of faith. Serious Christians and serious Jews do believe in a coming day of judgment, the final Yom Hadin. And they also believe in the coming of our Messiah, the Mashiach. These are non-negotiable core values of both Judaism and Christianity. Both faiths agree without wavering. The fact is, it is only the identity of the Messiah that remains in question among normative followers of both faiths. You can certainly disagree as an individual. In so doing, people inadvertently also opt out of their faith's fundamentals. Think about it.